So remember the zero product property states if you have two numbers that multiply to give you zero, one of them has to equal zero. However, for in this case, okay. So if you just go ahead and take a look at this, what you guys can see is what are my two factors? What are my two numbers that I'm multiplying? Well, I'm multiplying m minus 3 times m plus 5, right? Those are what I'm multiplying. So therefore, I can say m minus 3 equals 0, or m plus 5 has to equal 0, right? Because think about it. If a times b equals 0, one of them has to be 0. So that means I just set them both equal to 0 and solve. If I wanted to multiply it out, yes, you could do, you could multiply those out. But they're not asking us to multiply them out. They're asking us to solve it. Okay? The problem, the problem says solve each equation. So we don't want to, if we multiply them back out, then we're going to have a trinomial, which we're not, we're not trying to figure. We're trying to find the value of m. Okay? Does that make sense? So the question is just, it's just a different question that they're asking. Then I can subtract 5. Therefore, I have my two solutions are m equals 3 and m equals negative 5. And what happens, ladies and gentlemen, if you look at this, if I plug in 3 into this equation for m, 3 minus 3 is 0. 0 times anything is 0. You plug in a negative 5. Negative 5 plus 5 is 0. 0 times anything is 0. So therefore, those are your two equations or your solutions.